All right, folks, we're pardon the mess in the car. I'm going to show you some basics. So if you're going to have a get-home bag, a couple of pockets, what do you need to have, right? Everyone's got these $50,000 bags, and Canadian Prepper's got a bag, and he charges a fortune for it. I mean, I think it's some good content sometimes, but I feel like it's been a lot of clickbait crap. So I'm going to show you the things, most of the things I carry. And some things, I'm going to start with basics. So first, you got your bags. There's a little front pocket. Back of pocket, sorting stuff, some quarters towards my kids, other pockets, blah, blah, blah. It's not my everyday bag, it's my work bag. So what do you need? Well, I would say the first thing you need is some kind of blade. Maybe a way to defend yourself. This one's old, I'm just trying to show you some stuff I had. So, right, you need to get to protect yourself. I think a sharp is a good thing to have just to write stuff. always need one. You need a lighter. Bic's really good. It's just reliable. You can take this little piece off that's usually on here for this. For the sparks thing. Sorry, yes, I gotta finish my manicure. You can take that off too, folks. Another thing you wanna have. This is a really crappy flash I got years ago. This was my wife's everyday carry flashlight. Olight. I3 TEOS. It's very narrow, very cool clip's cool, you can take the clip off, but it can be adjusted to your hat, you can clip it on, clip it over your hat so you can see stuff, blah blah blah, useful. Now, if you're carrying a flashlight in your bag, you need batteries. So we got a way to cut, a way to see, a way to write, Now, and here I'll have some NSAID type stuff and some acetaminophen stuff, so basically like your town will leave generic version from Walmart. A little bit of both. They do different things. I carry, I think, the 500 milligram Tylenol, uh, Walmart Great Value brand, and then I think the 225 um, NSAID. That's just the basic, folks. Now, you need some kind of little first aid kit. This is probably really generic, but I have Alcazar because it has NSAID and pain for your stomach. No, you might drink some tepid water. You might eat some food that'll expire because you're on the move. Whatever. Band-Aids, alcohol pads. Now, you need more, but whatever. That's some of it. Next up. So, we said that's for our stomach. You got to have something to eat, right? You should have some protein bars. You can get these at Dollar Tree, folks, for $1.25. What else we have? So, we had first aid. You need a tourniquet. You need a real one. Shout out to Aftermath Gear. You can sign him on Instagram, aftermath.gear. He put me onto this one. I bought two immediately. These were sold on Amazon. They were not fake. Folks, you get what you pay for. If you get bootleg tourniquets, you'll have a bootleg life. After that, an immediate death. Yes. Yes, my son's in the car. We're waiting for my wife to come out of somewhere. What else do I have, folks? So, I have some duct tape. A couple feet of duct tape. Now, what I did, folks, is you know those little creep like, hey, get this credit card. We're selling, you know... Get this credit card. Maybe a fake plastic credit card. Maybe your name on Maybe not. If it has your name, white it out, scratch it off. You're that paranoid. But, you know, we can only do what we can do, folks. So, duct tape. Bandages. Wounds. Right? Blah, blah, blah. Fix your coat. Fix your bag. Your, you know, your boot rips off at the seam. This will help you. All these things can help you, folks. So, rather than carrying a big old roll or a small thing, a lot of people will wrap it around a lighter. So, you could conversely wrap this around this. Get good results. What else is in my bag? Dollar twenty five emergency poncho. I think it was dollar ninety seven. I bought them. I bought like ten of these. Now for the parents out there, this is a good alternative to buying a smock. Walmart sells a kid's smock for painting for nine ninety nine. This was selling for ninety nine cents. I think they're now they're dollar twenty nine or something. You can use them a few times and throw them out, or never throw them out. You know they have kid size ones. That's the one I bought. I have between I don't know. One here. I have six to eight of these in my car, in adults and kids sizes, because I have a family of four. Emergency blanket. Now, these Myler blankets, you want to get the best one you can. I don't really know, folks, but if I have to walk in the rain, then cover myself, stay warm, feet hurt, hungry, fix my coat, see what I'm doing. Hmm. Defend myself. Now, bonus. 
bonus, folks. Plastic bag. Just throw one or two in the bottom of your bag. Try to blow it up. Reduce it. You feel it makes it comfortable. It's sealable. Blah, blah. You can use it for garbage. Like to put your poop in if you have to poop traveling. If you can put it to put stuff in that you have to carry. You can put it on a stick like a hobo on a train like that you see like on the you know TV shows when I was a kid in the cartoons. It's all useful. Bonus item. Stabby thing. I think it was Ghost Maker Tools. I'm not sure. I'd have to check. I'll try to write him a shout out. But I bought... His black slim on the every day. I bought two of these for my wife and I went to New York. Did not try to take them on a plane or anything that I would not advise you to do. But these are non-ferrous, I believe is the word for us. So they don't supposedly show up metal detectors. You know, scanners show different things, whatever. Don't make yourself a target for the people you don't want to be a target for. But this gave me to protect myself while carrying something that is hidden, sleek, and uh, useful for what I had needed it for. Now, folks, that's just some stuff you want to carry real quick to have some stuff with you. You can add some alcohol spray if you want. You can add anything you want. It's your go bag. In my bag, I usually have uh, two or three Hot Wheels for my sons. You can augment your bag with this little thing here. Just a civvy. Boom. This can help you with the game of a lock sport or to get back in your house if you lose your keys. That's a bonus item. You don't need it, but, you know, I find locks to be rather fun. So, folks, here you have a way to protect yourself, a way to stay alive, right? We have bandages. We have stuff for our stomach. We have stuff for aches. We have stuff for bleeding, right? We have, ooh, like I said, folks, you can get a lot of this stuff just to start at the Dollar Tree. Let's do that real quick. Let's do the Dollar Tree rundown. So, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. Uh, let's see what else. Dollar Tree. You can get some of this at the Dollar Tree. You can get this at the Dollar Tree. You can get this at the Dollar Tree. You can get these at the Dollar Tree. They have a super bootleg one of these at the Dollar Tree. You can get this at the Dollar Tree. You can get some bands at the Dollar Tree. Oh, when you're, when you're checking out, you'll get these. So, folks, you can start with 10 or 12 bucks and start going. You can get a knife, some protein bar, some duct tape, some band-aids, a really cheap flashlight and batteries. It'll suck, but you're better having something than nothing. If you grew up in the 80s, we watched G.I. Joe, right? Mm -hmm. No one's... Now you know it. No one's half the battle. G.I. Joe, have you heard my saying? He's like, mm-hmm, because he watches with me. But forewarned is forearmed. If you're prepared ahead of time, folks, it's... How did I... The emergency expert. At the emergency expert. He was saying that they, you know, it's, it's... It's figuring out the variables, you know. What, what are you trying to... Sorry, my son kicked me in the back of the car. And I had to let him know I'm filming still. I think he's slick. But, folks... What do you really need? You're gonna see all these kits with you know water purification and tablets and filters and this kind of filter for the air and a K95 mask and a regular mask and a Zippo lighter. And yeah, all these things, I'm not saying anything wrong with that, folks, but you can get what I've got going here. The most expensive thing, folks, is gonna be the Cat 5. And it's because it's the most important. The flashlight was around 20 bucks. The other one was about three bucks. So flashlights and batteries are running me 30 bucks. Cat turn off kit, let's say it was another 30, so that puts it at 60. Lock Sports, another 30, so it puts it at 90. I bought this knife years ago for 5 bucks. This is probably another 30. This is maybe $150 worth of gear overall, folks, and half of this you'll never have to buy again. I bought this in a 12 pack. There's one in my car, one in my go bag, one in my regular bag. So there's tons of options, folks. Tons of options. Start where you can. You know, see if Red Cross in your area or First Aid Society or someone is doing a thing. I know. My union before I left New York did a FEMA course where if you show they have a bag with all the stuff. Sad I left the bag in New York, but I've recouped most of that stuff. But folks, get a poncho, a flashlight, a cheap pocket knife, some protein bars, a lighter, some duct tape, and a sharpie. Sharpie is a reason, a million reasons to use it. You know, you write down if you find some food, or you just want to. Better yet, if you're canning or you're prepping, you have a sharpie. You write down the date it expires on the top of the can, so you have to flip things over. Or maybe you want to leave a note for somebody. You know, my, I have paper in my go bag too. I carry, if you look at my Instagram, at EDC, Orlando EDC, I post a picture that I had money clip, two pens, both black ink, of course, because that was what was legal when I worked in New York. And I was covering um school safety desk for them to have their breaks and whatnot, make sure we follow that because it's a legal document. And I had a money, a silver money clip with some money. Because I was like, people don't carry this anymore. I see these young guys, they got their flashlight and no, not a flashlight, I'm sorry, they have their iPhone and no cash. Like, bro, I didn't go to Walmart, yo. Like, for real, bro, they don't take Apple Pay. Like, I can't shop there, bro. 
So maybe they've got an air tag on their phone they can put on their wallet part of the phone and they're carrying like their license and maybe their Apple card. They think they're cool. It's not cool to me. Uh, bonus item, you can put some silver in your bag. I would say gold is a better bet, but then I start becoming a Canadian prepper. I would tell you, you need to do this, do that, blah, blah, blah. The reason I said gold is because you can carry one ounce of gold and carry about 1400 bucks between 1100 to 1400 bucks, depending on the market, the day, etc., etc., fee, spot price. But ounce of silver would still give you like 30 bucks in the shape of a coin. Here's that movie Amerigeddon. The guy tries to trade one for gas and they try to rob him. We let the rest go through, but it's, um, yeah, you can see it on YouTube for free, I think. It's probably on Tubi also. The point I'm trying to make, folks, is you can start cheap. Literally. I think I bought this bottle at Walmart and the alcohol, too, and it was like three bucks, and I refilled it a couple times. And this now stays in my car because I don't want it in my bag. So I'm like, how much weight do I want to carry? I got my work bag I take with me, which I don't actually take into my job where I work right now. And I have my go bag and that always stays in the car. But everything you see here, folks, came out of my go bag except for the poncho because it's in the go bag in the trunk. Everything else came out of the bag that I carry with me every time I leave my house. Now, you know, you can get an armor plate for your bag if you feel that's what you need. Make sure your bag has tensile strength. What does that mean, Tony? That means your bag has to be able to carry the extra weight. You're carrying a plate of armor that's, you know, AR3, blah, 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 50,000 watt, blah, 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 super killer bullets like you'll hear some of these government guys want to tell you exist. You know, 95 round capacity shooting bullets that are made for this. No, no, no. And you're carrying all those rounds and a magazine drum and a backup pistol and flares and a suture kit and an umbrella and a gas mask and three cans of dog food because you know what? You're gung-ho and you'll eat dog food. Yeah, is your bag going to carry that weight? Or are you going to carry the weight? One thing I really like the at the emergency expert does in his videos is he's always rucking. And I think uh, the best tip you can get from him... What I liked was that he would ruck with his bag and put a package of water in there, like a 30-count water. Because if people are thirsty, he can drink them or give them stuff. He starts to drink them. If he gets too heavy, he can just pour them out. You now, if he hurts his ankle, he can dump the weight. It's not really that big a deal, like, you know, if we had a bunch of gear in there that he wouldn't want to dispose of. So if you go to Costco and get a 40-count water, let's say, I don't think that'll fit in your bag, but let's just say for, you know, for, for Pete's sake, for argument's sake, whatever the saying is, two ninety nine plus tax. So let's say three twenty five. you had to throw it out. You really didn't lose that bag. And for the environmentalists, stop screaming. Someone will pick up the plastic. It's just for discussion's sake. Don't give me a grief. I'm trying to think, folks. What else do I keep? I keep straws in my car. Plastic spoons and forks. Because if they forget or I need them, I have them. Like I said, flashlights, batteries, uh, something sharp. You know, it's the, you know, the basics. You need something to eat, something to cover you. What is it? Cover you? I forgot. It's the three C's. You Google that. I don't care. But basically, I need something to... I need something to cover me, right, which is a shelter. I'm going to say something to comfort me. And something, it's not really a C, I've heard the word, but something to, uh, something that'll make sure the bad people don't comfort me. And if they do, I have a way, hopefully, of minimizing what I can. Sorry, folks, I'm don't have a camera grip with me. I have one. And I have a special holder I did a video I haven't used yet. But all I'm trying to show you folks is you don't have to go crazy. You can go to the Dollar Tree and get a couple things. I went to Walmart this weekend. I made a trip my my big boy and I bought like four extra cans. That was it. I think I got two more cans of red beans, two cans of corn. I'm sorry, five cans. What else we got, Alice? We got corn and green beans, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we got one can of French cut green beans, two cans of dark red kidney beans. And two cans of sweet cut corn, sweet kernel corn. No sugar or salt added, blah, blah, blah. And I got Walmart brand, so it's cheaper than the brand name. That's it, folks. So you figure for like 84 cents a can, so was that like 450 with taxes? Okay. I have more supplies. Okay. And now my little one's talking, you know, he's supposed to be quiet, so I guess it's time for me to stop this video, folks. So, change in advance on YouTube, EDC Orlando EDC. On Instagram, you can check my blog, which doesn't have all the stuff it needs to have yet, Tony at changeinadvance.com. Is the email for that blog and changeevents.com is the blog. I will be updating it eventually, but that's more for business. So I will be growing the brand. I'm trying to figure out all the niches and fill up the funding. So eventually, folks, you'll figure out that I'm gonna try and teach you how to grow your own business too. Because then you'll be your own boss. You can set your own time. And if you do it right, maybe your business is paying for some of your training, some of your survival. Maybe it's a perk, maybe it's a bonus. There's a hundred ways to use a tactical to your favor, folks. You like this, right? He's like, oh, I gotta wrap up. I'm tired.
Whereas this guy, he's like, yo, rain ain't getting to me, bro. I'm out, folks. Peace.